pahele ana mai i kumako hale i ana o la ola ma ke au i ne he te kai o kumako aloha nui kai ki ke mai ko me ke ni a ke so ma ki a o ke a e lo ho no ke ko a hermen ya ke a ko ke ka a vo ma ka ko no ke i ko la ni a he elele vo no ke a ko mi ke o ha ve i pa ko ke a no ke ko ni o ha ve i ma hi o no le la o ke ka hi ko ya na ha he o o u a o ya ko u kula na a lu hi aloha o ka hale a ma ke ni ma ko ka ni o ke o ha na a no le la e ai vo i ko o ha na e ho lo me ya la ko i ho aloha Aloha kapo, uh, welcome to our hale, la yolani in um uh, in kiao mini be uh in kiao. So um uh, obo opele hono mea harlin, koma kwa hine, kwa kwa kiki, uh kwa hine na kikwa um you wanna just welcome into your home you into our home. I'm a kumo at ke kumu ba maku kula kana. Perhaps we'll have a guest appearance by our youngest daughter, Iaka, um, later on in the program. Um, mahalo. So mahalo for joining us for um, this is our second session for Hei Ukanaloha Kakilo Well uh, for Yui Chilo. Uh, two weeks ago, Larry Kimura, our Kumu, actually um, spoke on the topic of Mele, Mele during the period of the Renaissance and how Mele played an important part in this type of um, revitalization of the language. And one important fact that I didn't know about that was mentioned during this presentation was the uh, the spike in enrollment during that period of time in, at the UH um, Manoa campus. And I, I need to say, realizing now that we're in the year 2000, 21 that we are a hua of all the efforts that took place before um, people taking an interest in Hawaiian language and our ohana is a hua of that and uh, there are so many people throughout the state that um, that have given their life to um, the revitalization of Hawaiian language we have our kupuna our kumu our teachers we have communities and families throughout the state that that have worked hard for this for the life of our Hawaiian language so Hello, mahalo kia i kapo e apalo. Yeah. Hi, I am Neil Valeno. We're not professionals yes. by any <laughs> so standards. <laughs> um, and this is our hale, so uh, we just want to take you on a journey of our Hawaiian medium education experience and the ohana uh, uh, from our time as Komana all the way until um, our kids enrolling our children at the Kanalala level and then also um, up until graduation from Nabuki. And so we're gonna kind of more level about um their time and this is actually fun for us because we never ever get to talk with our kids about like well we have a we hardly get to talk to Uh, 
So we're just asking them what some of their um, memories are. And of course, our son, Komali'i, the food was his favorite memory of being at the Fundana Leo. He said he never went hungry. Um, they were always being fed. And the food was always ono because it's made with aloha. And, then, um, for, and also Wakai, going on um, field trips. So we're going to the ocean, learning about the different um, fish, all, all of those things. And for Nali, for Emoku, he was playing take time. Yeah, that's so important for our tiki. And so we're going to first share some. Um, oh, and, and knowing that it was a safe place. And I think that was, well, of course, it's important for Omakua, but. Um, Hey Ohana, yeah, it was a kipuka, it was a safe place for our children to be. Um, and she also knew that her older siblings are right across the parking lot as well as her mama. And I'm like, yes. so we're going to share some Kurana Leo songs. Kamehameha, Dawe Ho'olana. Oh, Lema Ho'olana, Kamele Moa, Oya Ho'olana, Waina. He Mele Ho'olana Kina, He Ho'olana Kwe, Ya Kako, He Nana, Ikea Kwa, Classics in the Punana Leo that we always sing in our Pico, Lina Poi Poi, Circle Time. And um, it's easy to remember too because you have all of the lyrics and it's done usually three times in a minute. Uh, and I think just um, for our people, it's so important to have spirituality. And Nele um, is just one way of expressing our emotions, our spirituality, and then during times like this to help them. Especially um, like they have said, they have to go to Makaina Mauna during times of Pilikia when I have problems, I gaze upwards to the to the mountain and I find strength um, in Yehova. So that's one thing that we want to share with everyone too as well. Um, and that we get blessed with um, having their family because of um, not just Oh, 
for um for for the students at Kekulo Navajo Kalaniopu and also for Lahushi. for the Lahui, mm -hmm. um being a Renaissance man, um being a an educator, being a lawyer, being an artist, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. so looking to role models from our history for guidance um what we're doing today. So yeah, we honor. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Mele. So our next song we're going to do is it was actually written by uh, my homana back when I was teaching. I think it was a blended fifth and sixth grade class. Papa Elima, Papa Eono, and we um, we wrote this song, but actually it's an old song. Um, the chorus was all all that we could find in the book, the Navahi book. Um, and it says, Paamo no ku aloha, Paamo, Paamo, Paamo no ku aloha ika aina hana wo'u. Um, and in the story of um, Yosepa Koho Oluhi Navahi Okalani Opu'u, we were actually looking at the part where he goes to San Francisco, Kaina Haole, mm. for the first time. Um, his first time leaving Hawaii. And as he was on the boat, of course, um, and he got, he got further and further from the shores of Hilo, he began to have all these emotions um, of aloha for his homeland, but and he started to sing this song. And I guess it was a song that was well known during his time. Um, but what we ended up doing was using that chorus and then talking about what we what we love and what we miss, what what, what, what we would miss about Hawaii mm -hmm. um, when we have to go away, whether it be for college or for um, a short huakai or to move actually um, abroad, uh, away from Hawaii, mm -hmm. what kinds of things would we miss? And so, um, this was the hua of that. Um, we came up with this song and then um, we added a leo to it and it became a Navahi song, but also um, in keeping with old traditions, I actually asked Larry Kimura, who was here, that to Paka to look it over and to um, help me with the words. And so this is from Paamo. Paamo no Paamo. Um, 
some of you may have, um, you know, through our interaction with um, our Hohanau, yeah, in Aotearoa. And we know that there are a lot of um, similarities in the revitalization of our language, yeah, the Kohangareo and then also the Punanaleo. Um, but we also have long relationships, yeah, with, with um, Hoa from there, especially um, um, Timothy Karetu um, over the years. And I know he's been good friends with um, Larry Kimura, Peter Wilson, Kaunoe Kamanama, um, and that, um, you know, there's a lot of sharing and interaction that goes, that went on with that relationship. But this particular melody, Ho'olono, so it, it has the same type of melody, but it was changed from Fakarongo to Ho'olono. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the lyrics, um, you know, because we share, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like. We need to, Ho'olono, we need to be he hearing our, our languages um, everywhere. We have mm -hmm. to, to um, have it heard. Yeah, yeah, have it heard. Um, so, eh, hula oko? Yeah, okay. Hula no oki kwa ki. Helena Kali. Actually, I was thinking about it while they were dancing. Um, years ago, Timoti brought a group here, um, Karetu, um, to Hawaii Island, and they were they went to the Lua Pele, past our house, and then on their way back, they came. They asked if they could come, um, and you know, just eat and launa, and it's so funny because they had like a huge a huge bus, like a Robert's bus, Robert's bus yeah. that parked in our grass on the front lawn, and out come all these Maori, and they come into our garage, and we're ready to, you know, hanai, and um, our neighbors always think, like, so, nui koma kopome ka'i ka our neighbors, okay. because they're very gracious, they always let us have our, um, Polynesian. Our crazy, gatherings. our gatherings, <laughs> but um, you know, hey, hale ohana, yeah. Mm -hmm. We have a, a hale ohana and a hale ho'okipa, and so it was just so funny because up rose that big ka'a'ohua, and of course, they come out, yeah, 
<laughs> and um, and then our neighbors, sometimes they try and peek through the um, bushes over here. And they're looking like, what are the harmers up to now? But um, Pelano, yeah, Coca Cola. Pelano. Pelano. <laughs> so, Kelly Colani, we're going to go out to college. Yep. Um, okay. So, Wahawai'i was um, composed by Larry Kimura and Kalina Silva, and um, at, we sing it every morning at our morning assembly. Um, our Pico, Aha Pico, yeah. And the, um, we sing it at the starting of our day. Um, to oh, call me. at the starting of our day to um, home. He kept a lot of company. I live in there. Okay, um, the little he made him a co maca home maca ana um, okala, he may hope maco coi cano no o cow of blue honey. Ah, oyo i cano no o e um, nakupuna, a kaikala coi pola maya maluna maco, a um, a imi puyala a holo moi e kamako mohana. Um, um, Maoka Ininao, yeah. Um, hi, hi. 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 so written by Larry Kimura, and then yeah, we do it every day. Mm -hmm. People in the there's still like a rising of the sun, yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, the rising of their sun, right? It's so important that our people rise as well, um, mm -hmm. through knowledge, through education. Hi, Kawe kawe na o ke a we kala ni he we ke we ke i ka po pili puka he ele le o ka po ni po ni kina ka o ke ka he a bana a we ka la apapa la i a me na o ke pu pu lo ka la ni la o ka u e u i a lo de i ka u lo e a. Characteristics of Princess Ruth and and her being someone being very adamant in holding on to the language and the culture and was seen through her actions that this was a very important part of her life. Even though you know in in documenting um, this in history, sometimes she's not given the most attention, although she played a big part and was loved by um, her people. Yeah, you know. All right. A ole no he lua pa. A ole no he lua. Ne kava hinele ula. Momo moe a moe iho. Kina ya hila be pio. A ole no he lua. Ne kava hinele ula. Moea moe iho, kina ya hila be pio. Ai, kina ya hila be pio. Okay, Malayla. Oh, okay, okay. My kailo, kalamai. 
I don't call a loaf, I can't like care, but I have a cockle. So another song is Polo Ayoki Eliko Lani. And I was just telling you, oh, I don't know how this is going. We haven't done it for a long time. Um, but Polo Ay is another song that was done by Arkumo Haunani for the Timo as well, who has um, gone on to be with Arkupuna. But um, we want to try it. Yeah, Polo Ayoki Eliko Lani. And it talks about all the place names in, um, in Hilo. Hello, my, hello, my, hello, my. Okay. And we have our guest appearance by Kobe. We're okay. so blessed to have our um, Ohana yeah, joining us. The um, Nakiki Anakalea Koyo. Hi, no, no, no. Hi, no, no. Hi, no. Yeah, they live right next door, so Ma'alahi, yeah, Ma'alahi. Just come over and um, Mama Pa'a is her um, Kapu oh, Hanai, yeah. 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 Okay, 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 Una hoa pune, ki o vai ka pupo na hawaii. Po na hawaii a pune, pule lo le uai. Ka umana, ka umana a pune, ki ka la pupui pupuau. Pupuau a pune. Paula io vai a che agi ora di nei pio pio cau che aulu na silica ai na mai capu anna no che ricolani ai na o mai capu anna no che ricolani ai for writing this melody also that honors Princess Ruth Kelly Kolani. And um, just a little remembrance of Muhao um, Nani Bernardino, who also taught um, Papa Mele at Kahaka Ula, and also taught Hawaiian language. But um, she was actually our teacher for the Papa Mele at Kahaka Ula, and she was so olea. She was so olea. Very strict. Very strict. But she, my kai, my kai. And no matter how stubborn I was about um, not wanting to play ukulele, yeah. she forced me. She forced me to play ukulele. So these are my Ohana Kiki, uh, my sister's children that live right next door. And uh, we asked them to come join us for the end as well. And bring the Iyaka. Okay, Egula Oko. Well, you have Papa. Now, no, I have to hear you. For our next song, written by our Kumo, another one of our Kumo. And our own Larry Kimura. Um, but this is a very important letter to our Okahi on the Hawaii, to all the Hawaiian people. My Kapina, my Kapina, I have a Oh, 
dedicated their lives to um, our language, our culture. Um, we each have our own different paths, our own mo'olelo, um, our own contributions, and um, we're just happy that we could, you know, to share with you today. Um, okay. Um, and so we want to actually thank all the, the people who have Hawaii uh, Popokiao for coordinating this. And, um, you know, there's a give a shout out to all the Punanaleo Ohana, all the Navahi graduates, the Navahi Ohana, actually Kaya Puni schools, um, Kula Kaya Olelo Hawaii all over the state. Um, and every. Uh, um, UH system, school that other Olelo Hawaii classes and um, culture classes as well. And um, just like what we're experiencing now uh, during this time of the Ma'i Kolona, our um, COVID time, we yeah. need to uh, pull together mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. lift each other up, um, like our kupuna did always. Mm -hmm. and remember to Malamokono. Um, and so I think mostly that's why I got emotional during the thinking of all the kupuna and we're so blessed that many of our kupuna are still with us um when you think of kupuna you think of tutuna lena mm -hmm. um, um we had during kalabanamana's time oh, kupuna mm -hmm. kupuna isaya kialoha and you know some of them have gone on um, um however um we continue to move forward. Yeah. And so uh, we all need to continue to move forward and take care. And I wanted to end our, our dancing part, maybe, with Kukututu. Um, it's not a mele papahana. Um, it's not something that we actually do teach it to our homana, but um, uh, in thinking of all of our kupuna, yeah, and our tutu. and. Um, for our ohana, we just recently lost a, a matriarch of our ohana, um, Kisha's Namaka Beacon, and so um, who gave a lot of her time and her efforts to the preservation of our language, uh, our hula, our ike ku'una. And so um, we wanted to honor her with this last mele, um, ku'ututu, and this is actually one of, this is one of the first songs that she taught me as well growing up. Um, Okay. Um, can you make
Maria and Andaya, very thankful to Maria, who is <laughs> our stage manager <laughs> and techie um, guru. Mahariaya, um, also Olila Iwane, who helped with the flyer for our Papahana today, and then also to Auntie Gail Makokane, London, for all of her kako and encouraging, encouraging us um, to continue. Yeah, so um, I want us to remember, yeah, as part of the UH system and all of Hawaii. That we continue, continue to sustain Hawaiian language, Hawaiian culture programs throughout the system, and um, to make sure we we see it grow. And then also um, check out the Hawaii Papokia website, and also on the website are the um, archived videos of Hewu Kana Aloha, and so this will also be archived there in the future. Um, please, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And um, also join us. We have a lot more Ukana Aloha that we'd like to share with you folks. Um, so next month, Honolulu Community College will be um, presenting uh, He Ukana Aloha Ka Kino Mea. So Leila, um, Okay, Yeah, they're looking at me like, oh my gosh, tell me we're gonna do this, but what Um hey man, we everybody take care of um take care of each other, take care of yourself, and of course um we hope um so we look forward to better times. Aka eliki me koka koma kupo na ya eloke kapo no ike kapo. Alila eke koa o. Ya kwa pua ui ho kapo. Na laiki ya ya kwa pua. A wo manu ya kapo na. Oh, hello, Mahalo, 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 Mah